and welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometres on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016 I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then. Don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device. Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. 
There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia, and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain, and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb, and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. Well, go on then, don't just sit there gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Welcome to this Zwift Run live stream. My name is Stephen. I'm a Zwift ambassador, a community run leader, and your host today. There's a countdown clock up there showing how long to go before the start of the main event. So you've probably got time to tidy the kitchen, take the trash out, and grab yourself a drink before we get going. If you've never seen Zwift before, it's an online game where athletes from all over the world train, compete against and socialise with each other live and in real time. All you need to take part is a foot pod, an internet connection, access to a treadmill and a device on which to run the Zwift app. You can use a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, a high-end Android device, Zwift even works on Apple TV. If you have a smart treadmill, you don't even need a foot pod, as your treadmill will send your speed direct to Zwift. Once you've logged in and made sure your equipment is connected, you can join others live for structured group workouts or social runs. You could do a solo workout or take part in one of the many in-game challenges. You could also pit yourself against people from all over the world in a race. There are various Zwift worlds. Some are based on existing places like London, New York, Innsbruck, Richmond, Virginia and Harrogate in the UK. But the biggest world is the fictional Watopia, where you can run in glass tunnels underwater, through the middle of a volcano, in a jungle, up to the top of a snow-capped mountain and on country trails. Watopia is where the Zwift developers let their imagination fly. Like any computer game, the more you run, the higher up the levels you climb and the more virtual goodies you require. If you're a regular treadmill runner, Zwift is going to transform your training. If you're a hater, Zwift is going to change the way you think about indoor running. Before we go any further, if you're watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time we go live on this channel. If you're watching on Facebook, please click the like button on the Film My Run page. Film My Run is also my other YouTube channel where I post real world runs. So if you're interested in marathons, ultra running, 10Ks or triathlons, you'll find product reviews, interviews and races over on that channel. 
I've been running all my life. I started running long distance races in 2011 when I ran my first half marathon and that was followed a year later by my first marathon in Paris. I've run the Paris Marathon every year since and have now run well over 100 marathons and ultras. I started using Zwift at the beginning of 2015 when indoor cycling and smart trainers really took off. In the early days, I held the long distance record for cycling of 500 kilometers on Zwift for about 48 hours. And when running started in 2016, I was the first person to run a marathon on Zwift. So if you have any questions about Zwift, if I don't know the answer, I probably know somebody who does. Okay, so now you can go and take the trash out and get that drink. And make sure you keep an eye on that countdown and be back in time for the start proper. gawping at me. Basically, this message is going to go around in a loop again and again until the start of the run. So you may as well go and do something constructive in the meantime. Broadcasting live around the world on Facebook, on Twitch.tv, on Mixer, and on YouTube. While we're getting everything set up, it would be absolutely awesome if you could go and subscribe to the Film My Run YouTube channel and also the Zwift Runs and Rides YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Film My Run, on Twitter at Film My Run, and you can also go to the website which is www.filmmyrun.com. It's very nearly time, so sit back, relax, and watch me do all the hard work. morning good afternoon so um, we're just on the track having a little warm-up uh, with Ryan Downey just before Fartlek Friday so um, Ryan leads the uh, PAC social group and recently the PAC social group has been made official so we are now an official Friday workout called the Fartlek Friday uh, organized by Ryan and led by Ryan. Ryan's the guy with the yellow arrow pointing at his head. And uh, this is just a little meetup. You can see that the people in the meetup are green. So uh, there's just a few of us just having a little run around the track. And uh, in about 11 minutes, you can see or it's covered by my logo, which is in a bad place there. But in about 11 or 12 minutes, we will join, jump over to the Fartlek Friday event. 
and uh, we'll start that as a half an hour run. And uh, Ryan, I think Ryan's suggesting there that you pre-warm up and when the warm up is over, it, it kicks you into the event. Yeah? I quite like that. So you can do this kind of thing, you can warm up and uh, yeah, and chat and do whatever. And then when it comes time for the run itself, you automatically get shoved onto the start line. Um, thanks for the ride-ons, guys. Ride on. Sorry, I've missed a few people's uh, names there giving me ride-ons. I've also not done my heart race. Well, I thought I'd done it, but it doesn't seem to be registering up there, so I need to stop a couple of seconds before the run starts. And uh, Alan Salisbury, thanks for your ride-on. Ride on. And get my heart rate going. Um, I mean, my heart, you know, my actual heart is going. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, second run of the day today for me. I did my uh, hill training this morning on the treadmill. Daigle, thank you for your ride on. Yeah, so 500, actually it ended up being 650 meters of climbing this morning around New York and I managed to get the Couch to Sky K route badge after a little bit of effort this morning, so that was good. So now we're on for just a fairly relaxed run, actually. I'm, I'm not pushing it tonight, so if people fly off, then that's fine. But I, yeah, I'm taking it easy. Definitely have a slight ankle problem. But at the moment, it's not stopping me running. It's just like aching a bit. And uh, when I go up hills at the beginning of a run, it hurts a bit. But I'm a stubborn old runner and uh, I don't want to rest. And I can't really, I can't really, I suppose I could now. If I rested now, I might just get away with it. But I, I feel like, I feel like it's not going to get any worse. Does that make any sense? I feel like if I just manage it the best I can, then hopefully it'll be all right. But uh, we'll just see. I mean, if it gets really bad, I will stop. It's not, you know, I'm not going to run in pain. That's for sure. just fallen behind Ryan a bit, so I'm just going to catch him up. Emily Williams, thank you for your ride on. So three minutes left of this run, and then we'll have four minutes to jump into the fart, uh, fartlek? Friday, Friday fartlek. If you don't know what fartlek means, it's a Swedish word just means speed play and it's another way of talking about intervals so running intervals is doing fart legs essentially the, the difference being that speed play far legs can be um, you don't it's not rigid so you can just do anything you want so you might do 100 meters fast or then you might do 400 meters fast and that is what Ryan does or Ryan will be doing with this run, varying the interval lengths. So playing with speed over varying distances.
Oh, I haven't put chat on at all. Right, wait till we get to the end of this, and then we'll have five minutes before the start. So I'll get my heart rate up, and I'll get chat on. Sorry if you've been messaging me on chat. I've, I've not seen it, because I haven't set it up. I'll be with you in a second. My apologies. <laughs> yeah, Brian says nice and loosened up. So we've got um, five minutes to, uh, to the event, and then the event is half an hour long uh, with 20 minutes of effort. Let's, uh, let's get up to two kilometers before we stop. feel the need to get to two kilometers but there we are <laughs> right there's two kilometers done let's go and join thanks will right let's go and join the event so we click uh, down on the left hand side there under the film like the pink film my run logo we said it says join event so we click on that Eric Min, thanks for your ride on. Ride on! Boss man. Okay, so we're on the start line. We are on the track still, so we'll still be going around the track. And now I'm going to put the camera angles on. And then we're going to go and have a look for heart rate. See if we can pair up heart rate. No signal. I wonder why that is. One twenty something, so to speak. That's not measuring any of them. Maybe it's that one. There you go. That one. There. No? Yes. Okay, so we've got heart rate. Now let's go and find some chat. So apologies if uh, you've been messaging me, I'm sorry. Bear with me. Bartlett Friday, there we are. So uh, YouTube, Facebook is on. And YouTube is nearly on. Is it on? Is it coming? Come on. There we go. Right. View chat. Ryan Perring. Ah, this is a meetup. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, 7.30 is when it is. Daniel, hello. Says, hey, what's up? And uh, Sorensen will buy a stride run pod from a buddy of mine and give Zwift a try. Why not? Absolutely. You should. Definitely. Right. OK, so let's put that in place. Let's put that where it should be. We are all set to go. Good. So uh, Ryan says warm up will be at 10 kilometers per hour, five minutes, and then get into the fart legs. Hello, every boodle. We have a sweep available if you fall behind. Uh, does this red beacon make my butt look big, says PC. <laughs> right, we're off in uh, one, uh, just over a minute's time. So uh, there is a red beacon and a yellow beacon. So if you've not seen this before, um, the red beacon is the back marker, yellow beacon is the leader. 
Yellow Beacon isn't necessarily going to be at the front, but they are the leader of the group, so you stick with them. And um, the back marker is uh, just going to be at the back to make sure um, if anybody falls behind, they know where they need to be at the back of the group. So let's start the treadmill up again. So I don't know if anybody was watching earlier the um, the stage two race. Um, I didn't I didn't see who win it, but won it. But I saw that Guy Arochas and Darren Van Dit were running together for a lot of it, which is amazing, really, isn't it? So Darren is in Malta, and Guy is in Israel. So. Darren in Malta, Guy in Israel, both running on Zwift together at the same time. Uh, it was a lovely sight to see. It was a beautiful thing. And but well done to everybody who uh, who took part in that today. But obviously, there were quite a few um, stage two events. Uh, but the one that my wife took part in uh, was the one at six o'clock, so Victoria ran at six o'clock. And uh, so that was the one I watched today. So half an hour, jamming, thank you for your ride on. Ride on. Oh yeah, Ryan says they, uh, Darren and Guy were hand in hand. I, d I don't know how he managed to see that, but... Uh, uh, Ryan... <laughs> Ryan Downey says, if at any time the fart legs are too easy, try adding incline. That is not going to happen, Ryan. You understand? Uh, Matt Dawson, thank you for your ride on, buddy. Oh. My button is not working properly. There it is. So, warm up at 10 kilometres per hour. Five minutes of this around the track. And uh, after that, we'll, we'll start doing little intervals, which Ryan will call out to us. So using the text, Ryan will tell us what he wants us to do. So it's not like an, an official group workout. On the left, you would normally have the instructions as to what you're going to do. And uh, Ryan says, this is a timed event, so do as much as you can, or as much as you want. <laughs> Mark Bin says he bottled uh, Tour de Zwift Stage 2 today. He'll try and get it tomorrow. <laughs> it's easy to do, isn't it? Sitting there all comfortable in your house. Oh dear, I've got to get to the gym, or I've got to get on the treadmill and go and blast out nine kilometers at pace. I'm going to do Tour de Zwift tomorrow, but I will not be going at pace. I will not be racing it tomorrow. So in three minutes, we're going to start at 12 kilometers an hour, says Ryan. Oh, and Peter Sini says he thinks he's been kicked out. We well, don't look like you've been kicked out. You're back in, Peter. You're back in the game. All right, so we have to watch Ryan stay with him when he goes. Thanks for the ride on whoever that was, missed it. So I've got no treadmill elevation this evening. Good evening, Kenneth. And Kenneth has just finished stage two, Tour de Zwift, well done. Oh, the ride, not the run. So Kenneth's been on the ride. And Ryan's going to do stage two tomorrow at eight o'clock. I will be on my way to London tomorrow at eight o'clock. Thanks, Ken, for the ride on. Ride on. And I'm going to do Bushy Park Run tomorrow. Bushy Park Run. If you know about Park Run, if you're from the UK or anywhere where there's a Park Run around the world, you know what Park Run is? So Bushy Park Run was the very first one to come into existence. And uh, I've been there once before, but I'm going to go and do it again tomorrow. Thank you, Peter. So Peter's just done stage two ride. 
I've toured his Zwift and he's going to do run in the park in the morning. Good job, Peter. So, one minute, get psyched up, says Ryan. We have to watch Ryan for, uh, for the speed changes. And we're going to go up to 12 kilometers an hour in 50 seconds. Less than 50 seconds. I think I can, I think I can. You know you can. 30 seconds. And then it's 20 minutes of hard work. 20 minutes of work anyway. I'm, I'm deliberately gonna be a little bit lazy today. Well, it's very busy, Ryan. Very, very busy. Over 2,000 people normally. So it's quite a crowded park run. Unless you're at the front, it's going to be very difficult to get a good time. Right, up to 12 kilometers an hour. But definitely worth doing just for the pilgrimage, really. So we're just uh, running at 12 kilometers an hour now, waiting for Ryan to tell us when to slow down, when to speed up. And we just have to watch Ryan to stay with him. It's pretty easy to see that big yellow beacon, so we're not gonna lose him too easily. <laughs> yeah, it's very busy. I mean, Worthing gets over 400 every week. But, uh, yeah, sometimes, I think they had the Christmas one was well over two and a half thousand, I think. Topping, thank you for the ride on. Ride on. So still at 12. Okay, recovery down to 10 now. So down to 10 kilometers an hour. Nice and easy. It's great having this track because you cannot lose the group. If you get left behind, you can just stand and wait or go really slow until the group comes round again. So that's one really good thing about having the track. No one's gonna get left behind or lost. Oh gosh, not four years. Well, I thought my streak was, uh, I thought my streak was long, but four years, gosh. I mean, I've done one, at least one or two every year. Pete, there's no program. There's no program. This is what it is. It's just Ryan calling it all out. to 13 now. Oh, and now recovery. Recovery where, 10? Assuming it's 10, but we'll just keep an eye on Ryan. One minute recovery.
So Peter Sini was thinking that this was an actual workout. Uh, Darren, no, but no problem, buddy. Enjoyed watching that. It was good. I did flick over to Guy as well to watch Guy's stream. Yeah, it was good to see you both running together. It was nice. So uh, Ryan says, let's bring those heart tates down. Never heard what a heart tate is. <laughs> uh, Sorensen, um, yeah, you have to go to the Zwift Companion app and search for the events. And all the events that are happening in Zwift will be listed in the Zwift Companion app. Or you can go to zwift.com forward slash events on any website, on any web browser. Right, we're off again, I think. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention. Um, let's go up to 13 and just catch whoever up. Yeah, I saw that you were speeding up, Darren. Good job. Yeah, you look nice and comfortable at the beginning. Uh, the Ledens from uh, Belgium, thank you. Right on. <laughs> So I think we're going at 13. I missed the instruction there. That's the thing about these runs. You've got to uh, you've got to keep your eyes on the screen. So 10 kilometres per hour for recovery. DeSanto, thank you very much for your ride on. Oh. Ryan uh, says, I don't pay enough attention. Makes no difference to me what the event is. Just turn up and run and see what happens. I suppose you're right, Ryan. So we're chilling for a minute. Chill for a min. So uh, Vidar Sorensen, these, um, this run is called Fart Lake Friday. So it's a new one today though, so this is the first time this one's happened, but it will be a regular Friday event. And then there are plenty of other regular events. Oh, we've got Joanna Beckett running with us. Hi, Joanna. Joanna Beckett is uh, the other half of Steve Beckett, who has been an employee of Zwift for a long, long, long time. Over in HQ, not long ago, Joanna and Steve moved over to LA from London. I'll just say hello to Joanna. Darren, it might be that I'm, uh, it might be that because I'm talking a lot, it's going up and down all over the place. It might just be that uh, it's not playing ball. It might just be that I'm tired. <laughs> right, 12 kilometers now, let's go. Minette, thank you for your ride on. <laughs> oh God, I'll give Joanna a ride on again in a minute.
Uh, iPhone 10, Ryan. The uh, is it the 10 Max? Whatever it is, the Max, the large version of the iPhone 10. Up to 13 now. Okay. You might be right, Darren. My heart rate might not be might not be right because. Uh, I don't feel like I'm at 173. Maybe I am. Gosh, 13 and a half. Okay, blimey. <laughs> Give me two seconds, Mark, and I'll tell you. Keep going, everyone. Well done. Good job. And recovery. Just catch up with the group. Yeah, I don't feel like my heart rate is, my heart rate isn't that high, is it? It must be something wrong with the heart rate monitor. <laughs> okay, Mark, I have a little program on my PC and it's called Auto Hotkey. So on a computer, in order to change camera angles, you press keys one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. My auto hotkey program allows me to program a little sequence of events. And when I turn it on, it runs that sequence. And it's a little sequence that I've made, which basically makes auto hotkey press all the keys in particular order. Um, actually, what I'm mostly on is zero, which is drone view. So it presses zero, then it presses left, right, up and down keys to zoom in and out and go left and right. And it does that on a kind of rotation. Um, and so that's how I get the camera angles. It's, it's just a little program on the PC. You wouldn't be able to do it on the iPad or the iPhone or on um, Apple TV. It has to be on a computer. So the program is called Auto Hotkey. And another, another thing that some people do, I, I don't do it, but some people run multiple instances of Zwift. Mark Hewitt, thank you for your ride on, my friend. Ride on! <laughs> so 800 meters, I think, at this pace. Um, yeah, people run multiple instances of Zwift and set the camera angles differently on each instance, which is a bit more, it allows you to have a little bit more scope because you can follow, say you could follow the lead rider or the lead runner, or you could follow the backpack and uh, back of the pack, rather than see the camera is on me, isn't it, the whole time here. So that, that gives you a bit more flexibility as well. I haven't really got into trying that yet, No, so no, it isn't built into anything. Just a little thing that I've done. So Ryan's giving us good advice there. Head up, relax, focus, breathe, of course. how we used to do it in the old days before before we had group workouts official proper group workouts um, John Hancock 
Tim and myself, we used to call out the intervals like Ryan is doing now. And it's quite a nice way to do things because it keeps, keeps you engaged with the run leader and it keeps the run leader engaged with the pack. 400 to go. <laughs> and there's Carol Rushworth. I saw her name, but I can't see her. Uh, Furily and Sorensen, thanks for the ride on. Right on. <laughs> I see her in the group. 250 metres to go. Ducks from Germany, thank you for your ride on. Now you can see it's a time-based workout this one, so uh, just over nine minutes left of the run and about five minutes left of intervals. Ryan Downey, thank you. Hopefully I'll remember to go through at the end and give everyone a ride on. Dagan, thank you very much as well. Ride on. It's so easy to get set up for Zwift running. All you need are a few things. Firstly, access to a treadmill. Either at home or at the gym, it doesn't matter what kind of treadmill you use, treadmill will work with Zwift. Next you need a foot pod, preferably a Bluetooth foot pod and the most popular ones to use at the moment are the Zwift pod or the Stride. Then simply download the Zwift app onto any of these devices. So a Mac, a PC, an iPhone, an iPad, an Android phone, Zwift even works on Apple TV. Pair your foot pod in the app Possibly add a heart rate monitor if you like, and that's it. You're all set up for Zwift running. Yeah, uh, I think you're right. Ryan Carroll just kind of popped in, didn't she? a late join and then disappeared again. Carol, that'd be great to see you next week. Awesome. Sounds like there's one or two Zwifters going to be up there. So if you can, if you can come and join me when we're doing our talk, That'd be really good to be me and uh, Jason on stage and we'll be doing a, a kind of Q&A session and a little talk about Zwift and about treadmill running. So if you can be there for that, I'm, I don't know what time, we're doing them a few times during the day, two or three times in the day I think. But it'd be great if you could be there for one of those. Right, 13 and a half kilometres now, here we go. Emily Lou, thank you very much for your ride on. No, er Eric. Oh, now I've forgotten again. Is it Erica Lou? Ride on. Thank you anyway. I'm a miserable sod, but that is at 50 miles into a 100 mile race, Ryan. <laughs> I would argue I'm prettier in real life. Eric! Thank you, Eric. <laughs> oh, am I going too fast again now? No. Steve Beckett, no doubt, keeping an eye on his other half. Right on! Cheers, buddy. Now, what am I supposed to be doing here? I've missed the instructions now.
Right, I'm not, I'm not going fast enough, is that right? I'm not paying attention. Okay, recover. That's it. Well, have we got one more to do? Dybeck, thank you for your ride on Dybeck from Sweden. Right and cool down. So, no, that is it. That's all the fart legs done. Four and a half minutes of cool down. Good session. Thanks, Ryan. Drop some ride ons, I think. <laughs> I'm kind of paying attention, Ryan. Sort of, I am, I am sort of paying attention. I promise. I've got a lot of stuff going on. Right, I'm going to slow down and give drop some ride-ons. I'm probably going to drop ride-ons to people who aren't even in the group run, so whoever gets one, gets one. Pete Sini, Kerry Beck, Joanna Beckett, well done to you. If you want to circle me, oh, I missed that, sorry. So Joanna's heart rate is 122 BPM. So that is very comfortable for her, isn't it? Wow, very impressive. Let's give uh, Smith a ride on, Mr. Ryan Downey can have a ride on as well. So let's just go around the entire track and uh, give ride-ons to anyone we see. I think that is everyone, though. Shekel, yeah. Bowery's done. Yeah, so that is everyone. Well done. Here's Pete. Muscle, wow, Pete's got a muscly avatar, hasn't he? Look at that. Very impressive. Kerry Beck. Carry back. Just, I, just right, Ryan, for me. Nice that was. Heart rate is 163 for Carry. Ryan's heart rate 144. Relatively comfortable for Ryan. <laughs> I have no idea what we did as I black out and just run. That's that's your group leader for you. You see, you talk about me not paying attention. Um, you just have to, well, go to Zwiftcast in, uh, search for the Zwiftcast group in, um, in, uh, Facebook. But also it's on Podbeam. You've got the Podbeam, uh, app. Search for Zwiftcast on there. Um, right, there's me. So, um, thanks for joining me, everybody back again tomorrow afternoon tomorrow afternoon or evening to try and do stage two of Tour de Zwift and uh, that's having done park run in the morning up in London hopefully I'll be all right I'm not gonna blast it out though um, do please remember uh, there is a podcast out Simon Schofield's Zwift cast which has a running feature Little interview with me, interview with Mike McCarthy, head of Zwift Running. Rasmussen, thank you for your ride on. And uh, so you can go and listen to that, that'd be great. And then also, if you're in the UK, 25th, 26th of January, the National Running Show is at the NEC Arena in Birmingham. If you please are in, uh, in and around Birmingham, or if you are going, Come and see me. We have a Zwift stand on both days. I will be there both days. Uh, running on the treadmill, doing a New Balance marathon training run, and also doing a bit of a chat on stage. 
uh, with Jason from uh, from Zwift. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I think it is on. I think the podcast is on Spotify as well. And Jonathan, yes, you are too late. Time to call this. <sighs> right there, we are. All done. Pack Friday fartlek. The new the new run from Ryan Downey. Ryan for uh, a good while now, a couple of years, if not more, has been a stalwart of uh, of Swift running regularly organizing events marathons half marathons and uh and this pack social the pack social group that he runs and now this fartleg friday uh official event on the zwift companion app so please get involved and uh join me tomorrow for my uh tour de zwift stage two uh hopefully i'll be able to i won't be too tired by tomorrow night to fit it in Either tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, just, you know, keep your eyes on your phone and you'll have a, a notification. And uh, Sir Ryan Downey says Ryan Perring. One of the uh, odd couple that is the two Ryans. It's a shame we don't hear that much from Ryan Boyd. He is uh, vocal on Facebook, but we don't see him in the runs that often, do we? So it'd be nice if there was three Ryans regularly around. Jonathan Cost, thank you for your ride on, and uh, whoever it was before that, dropping ride ons. Thank you. Right, I'm done. That's me for the day. And uh, actually, we should just uh, let me just walk it out to five and a half kilometres just to get the points. I am nothing if not a stickler for getting my XP points. Not enough of a stickler to run up to six kilometres, but enough of a stickler to walk 100 metres. <laughs> Heart rate has come right down now at uh, 92 beats per minute. Sussex Geezer, thank you for your ride on. See, I'm pressing my thumbs button. There we are. It's playing up tonight. Uh, Vidar, you can, but I think, I'm not sure if you will have missed the first one. I don't know if there's a catch up. So we've already done um, the first stage. So stage one has come and gone of uh, Tour de Zwift um, but you, there may be a catch up later on I don't I don't know for sure um, I'm not oh Carol I'm not doing 400 calories that's another 70 calories to burn I'm not doing that electric shocks when did I get oh yes I used to get electric shocks off the microphone didn't I I don't it's at such a position these days that I don't tend to hit it with my hand and also, this room is better ventilated than that old shed was. So I think that's why I, I don't... I, yeah, I don't seem to get those electric shocks anymore, do I? And it used to knock the microphone out as well. So I'd get an electric shock off the mic, and it'd short the mic out so nobody could hear anything. Yeah, OK, so Ryan, Ryan Perring says, there is a catch-up week at the end. So, Vidar, you can join Zwift, uh, Tour de Zwift. Um, and... Uh, and you'll be able to do all of the stages if you join now. There is a catch-up at the end for you to do stage one or any other stages that you might miss. Right, Jonathan Cost is top of the B group in the league for Saturday's Run in the Park. So Run in the Park are currently uh, running a, a league series there are 12 races in the league. You need to complete nine of those races in order to qualify for a place in the league table. Bozzelli, thanks for the ride on. And, uh, and currently, Jonathan is the top of Group B. But that piles on the pressure because it means he can't... Well, you can't go any slower in his races. He just he needs to keep banging them out. I don't know, Ryan. Is it on the Zwift Power, Jonathan? I think the place to see the league tables would be on Zwift Power. But that's just a guess, because Zwift won't have them. It is purely in Zwift Power. So go to zwiftpower.com. The website looks like a little bit like this. Well, it does look exactly like that, but um, that's uh, my sets of results. Or that's different, different races there you can see on Zwift Power. And then you click on the race that you want. So uh, I'm about to do that now. So you click on one and you go into the results for that race. 
So that was a Workout Wednesday run and you can see the people who are listed there. And then I click on my name and then I can go into my stats and all my stats and then all the races that I have done at the time I made this little clip, which was a year or so ago now. But that's, that's what Zwift Power is. So um, go and have a look, zwiftpower.com. You need to register with Zwift Power, but you also need to go to the Zwift website and allow Zwift Power to access data. So you need to um, opt in is what it's called, data protection, all that kind of stuff. You need to opt in to Zwift Power on the Zwift website. A bit complicated, but you, I'm sure you'll work out how to do it. <laughs> right, I'm done. I'm going. Oh no, now hang on a minute. Now I've just walked, right, I've got to walk to, now I've got to walk to 75. So 5.75, let's just speed up the walk. As soon as I get to uh, 5.75, but then again, you see, if I walk to 5.75, I may as well run the last 250 metres to... Oh, sod it. Right, come on then. Let's do to six kilometres. Honestly, this is useless. 300 metres of uh, gentle jogging. OK, so Ryan Perring has found it. The leagues for running the park are on a drop down in the Zwift Power website. Nice one. I think I am out of the league because I've already missed, I think I've already missed three of the runs. So I don't think I'm going to get a placing in the league. A shame because I was hoping to do it, but just too many things to do. Okay, well, if, all right then, but I, I won't get a very good place if I only do like five of them, will I? Because you won't get points, so. Anyway, I'll see what I can do. I, see, I, I probably won't be able to do it. Well, I won't do it tomorrow. So that's another one missed tomorrow. Unless I do... I've got my long run on Sunday, though. I've got a long run on Sunday, so I, I'm not going to be able to do Tour de Zwift then. So I'll be too tired. I could have done running the park tomorrow afternoon. Now you've got me, just let me think about it and I'll decide what I want to do. I would like to support John with uh, running the park, the running the park league. It would be nice to do that, but at the same time, you can only fit so much in, can't you? And I do an awful lot of running on the treadmill and I do need to get outside. So, uh, Strzelek, thank you very much for your ride on. There. It's taking two or three attempts to press that button. Yes, Darren, that, do you know what I mean? I, I, I totally agree with you. It is difficult, isn't it, to fit them all in? Maybe we'll have to see what John says. I'm not sure he'll go with it because it's started now, but maybe. Right, that's it. I am stopping. Six kilometres done and one kilometre warm-up earlier on. So uh, that's it. Um, thank you very much for the chat, conversation um, and the banter on um, Facebook and YouTube chat. Uh, well done to everyone who did the Tour de Zwift runs today and uh, well done to everyone who took part in Fart Lake Friday with Ryan Downey this evening or this morning or this afternoon. It's difficult, isn't it? I don't know where everybody is in the world. <laughs> I mean, Ryan's in the States, so it's, uh, it's much earlier in the day for him. Right, that's it. Thank you very much, guys. I am off to London to run Park Run in the morning in London, and I will be back on tomorrow afternoon stroke evening for my Stage 2 Tour de Zwift or for running the park. I'll just, I'll see. I'll see what I think. Right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.
going on? <laughs>